The music was festive and the atmosphere was electric at the Logan Square Auditorium as supporters and volunteers of the Will Gazzardi campaign gathered on primary night to await election results. Your hard f***ing work made it possible for this early in the night for me to say that the Barrios campaign has officially conceded. second attempt at taking on Tony Berrios and the Chicago Machine, Gazzardi finally succeeded with a strong showing of over 60% of the votes cast in the race for the 39th district in the Illinois House. This community stood together and we demanded new leadership. We said with one voice that every child deserves access to a great public education. that the very wealthy and the biggest corporations ought to be held accountable to paying their fair share just like the rest of them. And we said with one voice that working people who earned their retirement deserve to get it, right? Today, in this election, this community stood up and we were counted, y'all. And, and look around tonight. Today, the whole city is watching what we did here. Yeah! 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 The whole city, that's right. Yeah! That's right. Yeah! You know, because this, this, this election didn't happen in a vacuum, right? This didn't come out of nowhere. The result that we saw here tonight was the result of a movement, a movement that has a long history in this city, a movement that is striving for basic values of justice and fairness. Right? And this is a powerful movement in Chicago. It's a movement that's elected aldermen, and it's elected state representatives, and it's elected state senators. And this is a movement that even once upon a time stood together and elected a mayor of the city of Chicago. Yeah. Though this was a local primary race, this was no small task for the Gazzardi campaign and no small win for the progressive movement. The strong showing in this contest shows who is able to turn out the votes on the northwest side of Chicago. But what we proved beyond the shadow of a doubt here tonight is that this is a movement that is alive and kicking here in Chicago. continue denying the demands of working ah! people, we will take it to the streets. Yeah! Gazzardi acknowledged that his win came from the support of teachers unions and Latino voters. Y a mis apoyantes latinos. Yo quiero decir a ustedes que como representante estatal voy a enfocarme en los temas que importan a la comunidad latina y que importan a toda la gente en ese distrito. I know that many of you had to grapple with this decision tonight and it wasn't an easy one, but you guys took this vote in the faith that a little change might do this community good, and I promise you that I will work every single day to make good on that promise. Listen, we have serious obstacles in front of us, there's no two ways about that, but what we've shown here tonight is that real change, meaningful change, in our political system is truly possible. He also shared his vision for the focus of the progressive movement. And if we keep fighting, if we make good on the promise that we made to the voters of this community, if we take that battle for votes and transform it 
into a battle for values. If we stand clear and determined in fighting for what we believe in, we will change this community and we will change the political landscape of the state of Illinois for the better. At the Logan Square Auditorium, I'm Dan O'Donnell for Logan Square TV.